The year was 1944. The World War II D-Day invasion of Normandy marks the end of the war in Europe. President Franklin D. Roosevelt wins an unprecedented fourth term. And on April 18th, Charlie Tuna was born, Arthur Ferguson, in Nebraska. At the age of 16, Charlie began working at his hometown radio station, KGFW, before heading south to KLEO in Wichita, Kansas, where he worked for a year under the name Billy O'Day. Then, it was off to KOMA in Oklahoma City, where he first used the name Charlie Tuna, which he adopted from Chuck Riley, who had used the name for one show the week prior to Ferguson's arrival. In 1967, Charlie worked at WMEX in Boston for nine months when he received a call from the infamous Bill Drake, who offered him the 9 to noon slot at Boss Radio 93 KHJ and earning the elite distinction of being able to call himself an official boss jock. In 1972, Charlie became one of the original DJs at the new Top 40 station in Los Angeles, KROQ, the station called itself the Rock of Los Angeles, a format described as high energy, all cutting edge rock, all the time. A year later, in 1973, he moved to KKDJ as both the program director and morning personality. He was there through its 1975 call letter change to KISS AM and broadcast the first show on KISS FM when it began its AM FM simulcast. From there, Charlie worked at 10Q, K-Hits, KRLA, KODJ, KCBS-FM, KMPC, KLAC, KBIG, and K-Earth 101. He's worked on virtually every format, Top 40, AC, Hot AC, Country, Classic Hits, and even News and Sports Talk. In addition to local programming, Charlie headed up his own radio syndication business, which distributed shows both nationally and internationally. He's been the announcer for Casey Kasem's 1980s TV program, America's Top Ten, and filled in for Casey on his syndicated Top 40 Countdown shows. He hosted Your Good Time Oldies magazine from 1992 to 1995 and produced the syndicated Back to the 70s. A proud supporter of the U.S. military, Charlie broadcast approximately 6,000 shows between 1971 and 1996 for the Armed Forces Radio Network. His television work includes 30 years as the host of Cinema, 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 an internationally syndicated TV show featuring the top movies in the U.S. He's been the off-camera announcer on a number of television game shows, including The $25,000 Pyramid, Scategories, Time Machine, and Scrabble. He was also the announcer for the last two years of The Mike Douglas Show, Alan Thicke's Thick of the Night, and the station voice of LA Independent TV station KDOC Channel 56. On the big screen, Charlie appeared in the 1977 Universal film Roller Coaster and the 1979 independent film Racket. Charlie's charitable work includes raising more than $2.5 million for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, the Revlon, Run, Walk, and hundreds of local charities throughout the years. He also emceed the annual Woodland Hills 4th of July Spectacular, held in Warner Park to crowds of over 50,000. In 1999, Charlie was inducted into the Nebraska Broadcasters Hall of Fame and into the National Radio Hall of Fame in 2008. In 2010, Charlie received a Lifetime Achievement Award and was inducted into the Route 66 Hall of Fame in San Bernardino, California. LA radio people readers and peers voted Charlie Tuna one of the top 10 LA radio personalities of all time. In 1990, he followed fellow boss jocks Robert W. Morgan and the real Don Steele with his own star on the world-famous Hollywood Walk of Fame. Since 1977, Charlie has been the honorary mayor of his hometown, Tarzana, California. Charlie loved his work and loved his family and friends dearly. He never stopped striving to be a better person. He has entertained the Los Angeles listening audience for over five decades with his familiar voice, unique style, and presentation. He will be missed by the many lives he touched throughout his broadcasts and all who knew and loved him.
Charlie Tuna, 1944 to 2016.